In around 5 billion years, our beloved sun will reach the conclusion of its career, transforming into a red giant and engulfing the Earth. But what if something occurs beforehand, causing the sun to unexpectedly erupt? Will everything on Earth vanish, or will we still be here tomorrow? It turns out that the solution is a little more complex. Although there is very little chance of the sun bursting, it is nonetheless vital to consider the potential effects of such an occurrence. We can better understand the fragility of life on Earth and the significance of astronomical research by comprehending the implications of a supernova explosion on our planet. It's important to note, however, that there are no known precautions that can prevent such an occurrence. What would happen if the sun suddenly erupted? More than 1.3 million planets the size of Earth can fit inside the sun, which is 109 times as big as our globe. Despite its enormous size, our star is a middleweight star when compared to other stars. There are some exceptions to the rule that stars that are about 10 times as big as our own go supernova and explode. Our star is too small to go supernova despite this, and if it were to theoretically explode, we wouldn't know for roughly 8 minutes and 20 seconds. This is due to the Sun's extreme distance from Earth, which is typically 150 million kilometers, 93 million miles. Through this distance, the Sun's light takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach us. We wouldn't learn about a supernova event involving the Sun until it was too late since we wouldn't be able to hear the explosion. This is because the sound would be too faint to be transmitted through space. The blast would be so strong that it would entirely obliterate planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. However, before the brightness, debris, or shockwaves from the explosion would reach us, everything that was alive on Earth would perish. Neutrinos, the invisible killer. Radiation in the form of neutrinos would be the first thing to destroy all life on Earth if the sun exploded. Every second, millions of neutrinos strike our body, but they have no effect on us. However, the number of neutrinos and their energy both grow dramatically during a supernova explosion, boosting the likelihood of an encounter by a factor of 10 quadrillion. About 99% of the energy in a supernova is carried by neutrinos, which move almost as quickly as light. The majority of creatures will consequently boil inside within seconds of the encounter. The most terrifying aspect of neutrinos is that they can pass through anything, so even if you were on the side of the Earth that faces away from the Sun, you would still experience the same consequences. Scientists discovered neutrinos from a supernova they spotted in 1987 at a distance of around 168,000 light-years in a matter of seconds, but the light from the explosion wasn't visible for hours. This means that if the sun erupted right now, everything on our planet would be vaporized by neutrinos before we could see the light from the explosion. On the other hand, it all depends on how big the explosion is. What about the second scenario? Suppose the sun's explosion isn't so powerful and neutrinos don't wipe us out. In that case, the shock waves produced from the explosion will most likely wipe out everything on the side of our planet facing the sun. The other side of Earth would experience a rapid rise in temperature and would most likely be covered in darkness. Since the sun will be gone, nothing will be powerful enough to keep our planet gravitationally bound in the solar system. In other words, our planet will stray, leave the solar system, and float in outer space. Temperatures on Earth would plunge to minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, a week after the event, and would stay there. The Earth's temperature may drop to minus 73 C or minus 100 F in approximately a year, at which point even the oceans would start to freeze. Our atmosphere will start to deteriorate as our planet continues to float through space, making everything increasingly vulnerable to cosmic radiation. Only bacteria and other complicated life forms hidden in hydrothermal vents may survive, in the best case scenario. Our planet may eventually become entangled in the gravitational pull of another star. If the star is identical to our Sun, and the Earth occupies the same location in the new solar system over millions of years, life could reappear. Will the human race survive? Humanity would perish if the Sun suddenly exploded today or tomorrow. On the other hand, if the explosion isn't strong enough and we are aware of it in advance, 
we might have a chance to live for a few more years. For instance, the temperature of the Earth's interior increases as one descends. The temperature is roughly 23 degrees C or 75 degrees F, about 10 feet underground. Humanity could be able to live in subterranean fortified bunkers for a few years without the sun if there are enough resources and the right technologies. Growth lamps, hydroponic systems, aeroponic systems, air dynaponic systems, or container gardens can all be used for underground farming. It may be possible to produce food plants underground using these methods and technologies. If there is enough room and humanity is prepared in advance to master the necessary technology and skills, it is also viable to keep animals underground and produce electricity by nuclear or geothermal means. Sad to say only small populations of people might survive in these circumstances given the existing circumstances, and even then only with early planning and training. The good news is that Earth's core will likely continue to be hot for billions or even more years. Can the sun explode at any moment now? The scenario in question may seem grim, and it would make a fine movie, but it's quite improbable that it would ever come to pass. The sun cannot suddenly burst into flames without warning. Our sun will likely continue to shine for more than 5 billion years until it transforms into a red giant and swallows the planets according to our present understanding of star phases. The good news is that our sun is stable and does not have enough mass to undergo either a supernova explosion or a black hole formation. That's all for today. If you found this video interesting, make sure to like and subscribe to stay updated and take care.